only five wins of their last 13 games. Craig, the Canucks still have a big lead in the Pacific Division, and yes, Thatcher Demko is out. But is it a problem that they're seemingly uh, taking their foot off the gas this close to the playoffs? Well, you know what? Every loss for a coach feels like sometimes it could mean that you're on a dip and you're on a slide. And Rick Tockett has talked about the Vancouver Canucks. You know, he talks about you get punched in the mouth, you got to stand up and, and punch back and fight back. You know, we're talking figuratively, not literally. But when you consider what Farhan just had to say with respect to resiliency, certainly that's part of it. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, is the Vancouver Canucks, this group of players largely, has, has now been faced with a whole new set of challenges. It's easy to play loose when you're not in a playoff run. Now, they're not only clearly going to be in the playoffs, they're trying to sharpen the saw for when they do get to the playoffs, hold on to first place in their division. But one of the things outside of what Farhan said, you know, in years past, and you talked about the blue line, Thatcher Demko was the saving grace, and the blue line wasn't good enough, and they had to become better defensively, and you didn't have to worry about the offense. Right now, in their last five games, I'm really worried about their offense. Their offense has dipped significantly. The defense is still really good, really top in the league. But when you start to get these dips, and even though you're up 3 nothing in a game against Colorado, you, you can't get yourself into that spot where you put their back against the wall. Even though something goes against you versus the Washington Capitals, one goal isn't going to win you many games in the National Hockey League. So I think... Trying to find more offense, not at the expense of defense because it has been really solid, but trying to find that level of offense and understanding that every game is going to be a grind and there's going to be moments in a game that are not going in your favor. you got to find a way to turn the lever back, that you push the game back on your opponent and get them back on your heels instead of trying to be surviving on your heels. You can do that by being better offensively, you can certainly do it by just saying, we are not going to back down. And I think that those are two things that the Canucks are looking to do in these games ahead. At this point, still a speculative question, but if the playoffs started today, the Canucks would face the Vegas Golden Knights in round one. Is that a bad matchup for Vancouver? I don't think it is. I watched the Vegas Golden Knights and... You know, we, we, we tend to look at them as the former Stanley Cup champions, the defending Stanley Cup champions. And I see a lot of fault lines right now in the Vegas Golden Knights. And we can talk about the injuries. I'm not even talking about the injuries. I'm talking about the way they play. They're not as really defined. They're not as crisp. They're not as detailed as they were earlier this season and en route to the Stanley Cup. And if they don't find that level, I don't see them as a threat to the Vancouver Canucks. Well, the Canucks have 14 games left before the playoffs begin. Two of those come against Vegas in what could be a first-round preview.